Uh, yeah, I don't know. I've been I've been working on my throwing motion hey, a lot. Hey, dude, I can't really hear you. Because it'll help me get more velocity. Uh, I, I, I heard you say something, but I don't know. I don't know what it was. I don't. Just, but I'm here, so it I'm hanging matter. up on you. What did you say? Hello. <laughs> uh, Surprise! It's me, Susan B. Anthony. <laughs> I am very surprised to see you. Okay, I can't. My name is William... William Hurst. Is it? Is William it? Randolph Hurst. It works. Susan B. Anthony was hard. I'm you sorry. You got me hard. That was not easy for me. Um... I was just about to offer to get you something to drink, but what? you live here, so I won't. Can I offer you something to drink? Is that what you're hinting at? Yeah, as a matter of fact, could I please have a Diet Coke? Sure. I'll grab you. We don't <sighs> actually have any soda, I just realized, so... I wasn't gonna get you a drink anyway. Do you... Uh, so you have more cats now. We have... We have more cats. Yeah, there, there's a lot of cats. You have... More than usual amount of cats. Somehow I became the guy that can... You can drop your cat off, you know? People know that I'm accepting of cats. Uh, Alice and Janine broke up. Did they really? Yeah, so uh, I, get the ca I got their cat. Now I said, sure. And, uh, and then oh. word spread uh, about Stephen is taking in cats, and then uh, <gasps> there's some extras. I've renamed them all. Um, that's Steve Lombardozzi. That's Mark Lemke, uh, Ricky Weeks, <laughs> Jamie Carroll, okay. Craig Council, <laughs> Lou Merloni, uh, Carlos See, Mayerga. These are all, you have a baseball team now. Are you playing? Oh, only <laughs> second baseman. Second baseman well, only. That seems silly. Right? Yeah. Well, they're scrappers. <laughs> okay. All right, we have a lot of cats now. Uh, yeah, and you know, I've been thinking about, um, like, filling out the necessary paperwork to become an official, intentional cat shelter. It's rather than, you know, like, kind of unintentional, casual like arrangement. Yeah. I like that idea a lot. Yeah? Yeah. You could even do it in San Diego. Just the, the cats would be very different. How would the cats be different? I mean, like, it would be different cats. I mean, maybe you can bring the, I guess if you wanted to bring these. Different cats. It yeah, it doesn't. Cats becoming different. Irrelevant, because I didn't, it didn't, it doesn't matter to you. I know you're not doing that, so it's. How do people even make money doing, like if you ran a shelter, how do you make money doing that? Uh, I don't know, donations? That's a lot of donations. Maybe reselling cats after they're all fixed up. So it'd be like, like flipping lives? Yeah, yes. <sighs> you two can make $5,000 a week working from home <laughs> flipping cats with this easy. All right. That's funny. Well, you're here. I'm here. What do you have planned for the... Uh, how was your journey? Uh, I was long, fine, fine. Okay. How mm -hmm. was work? How were your parents? Uh, my mom It's fine. I <clears throat> can't believe you have a uh, dead father now. Yeah. Um, previously, you it was sick, <laughs> sick father. And we were talking about treatment plans and prognoses and medications. Yeah, and... we all thought for sure that he was, he was getting better. And we I thought he was going to be fine. But he, he wasn't, Stephen. I mean, he, there was that... There was that full week where it was just terrible, and I, I was happy to be a good daughter and to be with, to be with them. But I missed so much work, and the whole point of me even moving was to work, and then I wasn't. So it just felt, I just felt very silly. You didn't tell me that you weren't working. I, I told you we were, we were skyping. I think I'd remember that. I think I'd remember that. Like, okay, but Skype where? On our computers. No, I mean like. <laughs> What room was I in? I don't know. It doesn't... Yeah, you know, it just would help me remember. You don't need to remember that. That's not a, a thing you have to remember. 
Okay, so how was the funeral? Uh, it was odd. Sad. I, so before that, I'd never, I'd never seen a dead body, and I didn't even, I didn't even think about it. The whole funeral, all I did was after the fact, kind yeah, of realized, I like, oh, why didn't I? haven't seen one. Really? Yeah. Weird, right? <laughs> What was the dead body part like? Did you touch it? No. Actually, I, yeah. Uh, so my, I had my hand kind of, kind of on the, like the silk part of the casket. And my mom, she puts my hand on my dad's hand. Uh huh. My dad's dead hand. Oh. And she trapped me and put her hand on top of, of mine, and then we were just there. Like you said, the bottom one was, was not alive anymore. So. That's pretty weird. Yeah. I um I had to pick up some cat poop from the from the plant a couple of weeks ago, and I just. Reached in there and scooped it up with my bare hand. Okay, all right. Why? Because um, it was why like do you a tell thing. Me that like my brain didn't click into place. Like, don't touch that. It's poop. Yeah. In time. Okay. And so I had a cat turd in my hand. I was putting like fingerprints on it and just staring out the window. Mm -hmm. With a. I'm just trying to empathize a little bit I know, more, I know, I just know, in I general. Know. Thank you for trying to. Empathize, but you can just, you can just feel empathy. You don't always have to verbalize it. I'm sorry, I just feel like I missed a really big thing for you. Yeah. And I wanted to try to put myself there. I think that's what that was. I know, I know. But my, my dad isn't, my dad isn't poop. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I know about that. Is this one? Is this our Taddy? Or is it? Taddy Tats? Our... Did you rename our cat too? No, I. Didn't you? You're asking if that's our cat that we. I had can't tell for now. Years. There are so many. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Uh. Come here. Taddy, is this you? Tat. Taddy. What? Hello. I said tat tatty, not tab tabby. Yeah, I just got. I just got in a few a little bit ago. But you know, my phone is doing this. Thing where it, what did you? No, I'm. It's like a boomerang kind of. I'm. I feel like I'm kind of. You should hang up. Into like an you need to hang space. up and start. You where, should start right, the call like my words over again. Bounce. Okay. I've been on the other end of that, and it's just like really infuriating. Oh, hey, can and you, it's like when I'm not talking, it means somebody else is talking. So please stop talking because now it's like five people are talking. Sorry, that was Stephen. I think there's something wrong with my provider. Uh, but thank you for calling. I think I lost. I lost it again. <laughs> Who was that? It was my boss. Your boss called you? Yeah, I mean, we're friends. Well, like, <laughs> you're like, call me as soon as you get home level friends? Or like, how much time do you spend with them? With her, I spend a lot of time. A lot of quality time. Paid quality time. Yeah, but I don't know. She makes work fun, kind of. Yeah, I can see that. That's fine. I mean, I'm glad. Sorry. Um, so what would you like to do tonight, knowing that? I, well, the plan was receiving you. <laughs> Check. And yeah. you are received, and you are receptive. Or just received? Uh, 
I don't think, I don't think so. I had cramps. Honestly, just. It's okay. You have your period again. Yeah. That's how, you know, that's how it works. Oh. I'm really sorry. Just, it's like a volcano, and it's just. Oh, dude. I'm sorry. Couch volcano. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, I might have a pretty good solution for that situation, which is that I got a DVD in the player already, and I've been re-watching The X-Files. Okay. I'm on, like, season four, episode three, I think. So and... you want to watch from the middle? You want me to, you expect me to just, just start in the middle? I really don't think it matters. It, mas it absolutely matters. I would be, I would be like an interloper or a creep in, in all of this, and I don't... You don't, you don't want to be an interloper in my relationship with Fox and Dana from the TV show X-Files. Yeah, that's okay. right. That's right. I love their relationship. Tabitha, this is Steven. He usually comes over around this time to watch DVDs. I know that we already watched the one with the mom under the bed, because that one made you pretty upset. Uh, but why am I thinking we're on the field where I died? That would be disc two. Did you know that all every single one of these DVDs is, it has a plastic bag on it? Why did the box set people do that? How long that? have you two been together? Six, Six years. years. And how long have you been working in San Diego? Two years. Two years. years. You know I live in San Diego. That's... Yeah, I that's mean... That's great. Because <laughs> we talk. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't, um, I don't actually feel like, I don't feel like watching TV right now. It's DVDs. TV on DVDs. Well, well what do you want? Okay, just now. I don't see any. Did you leave the door open? When? No. Steven, which door? What are, you, what are you talking about? Help me look for cats, man. I got you a present. Uh, is it acceptable for a present company? Yeah. I'm not sure he's really here anyway. So, surprise! <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now it'll finally work. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 